I was captured by units of the Japanese Army on April the 10th, 1942, on the southern end of the Bataan Peninsula. I made the march northward from the vicinity of Maravelis to San Fernando, Pampanga, a distance of approximately 80 miles. The march took eight or nine days and later became known as the Bataan Death March. I was incarcerated initially at Camp O'Donnell, then moved to the large central camp at Cabana Tawan. On December the 13th, 1944, the Japanese loaded 1,600 of us aboard the Orioko Maru, a large Japanese liner. We were crammed into three holes, sitting in bays, much like large shells, each man sitting between of the legs of the man behind him. Thus began a 47-day nightmare of mm. horrendous inhumanity and barbarism, the lack of air and water, the confined space, the constriction of movement produced near panic. A few became crazed with heat and thirst. They had to be forcibly subdued. One attempted to climb the narrow metal ladder leading up to the deck. The Japanese guard shot him and he fell back on those below. The Orioko Maru, which was unmarked, was attacked the next day in Subic Bay by U.S. Navy planes and subsequently sunk. The POW survivors, many of whom were wounded, were transferred to Lingaya, where they were put aboard a second ship. This ship was attacked in the harbor of Takao, Formosa, and badly mauled by U.S. Navy dive bombers. The remaining survivors were transferred to a third ship, which arrived in Moji, Japan on January the 30th, 1945, with its superstructure covered in ice.